Hi everyone, Jen here from jennyandteddy.com. In this video, we are going to make the Blue Wave cardigan. This cardigan is made for mini lip crochet stitch, which is very beginner as always. I mean, beginner friendly. And during you watching the video, I would love you guys to get a free writing pattern on my blog to help along with the video tutorial and the size available for this cardigan is from size small to 3xl but actually you can make it in any size by add more chain to the foundation chain and i would love you guys to follow me on the instagram to see the new pattern update and this cardigan is made from just two identical rectangle and then we we fold them in half and then we will join them on the center to create the back panel by sewing and then we will create the armhole by sewing on the side and then we will add the collar beautiful one and we will Add the long slip by very basic crochet stitch line, double crochet stitch all the way. And that's all we done. I hope you go enjoy the tutorial and let's get started. So what you need is a crochet hook size. Um, Four millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, stitch marker, a pair of scissors, measuring tape, and the yarn that I use is um, cotton decay weight yarn. You can use any brand of the cotton decay weight yarn. So let's get started. Um, so we will start with the foundation chain and in this example side fit size small and the other side I will put in the link in the description below so the size small we will start with a slip knot and then we will chain 49 chain the foundation chain is a multiple of 7 plus 1 slip knot already and then we will chain 49 chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 um, I will go off the camera and meet you at 49 chain. Remember that this is a uh, um, size small. The foundation chain is the multiple of 7 plus 1. I will meet you when I have 49 chain. I am now finished um, 49 chain already. And I will measure up my foundation chain. My foundation chain will be about 11 inch. If you stretch it, you will be get 12 inch. So if you get between uh, from 10 inch to 12 inch, that will be fine because sometimes we have a different different um, tension of the stitch. So if so if you like um, crochet it too tight, maybe you will get less. If you crochet it loosely, you will get more. So that will be fine from 10 in to 12 in. So we will start on um, row 1 after this. So after I have 49 chain already, I will add more one more chain because 
um, foundation chain is multiple of 7 plus 1 and we will start on row 1 row 1 we will make a slip stitch in the neck 7 stitch from hook so slip stitch one slip stitch we will make um, seven of them two slip stitch three slip stitch four slip stitch five slip stitch six slip stitch seven slip stitch so now we have um, seven slip stitch already and then we will make um, one double crochet in the next seven chain So we make one double crochet in the next seven chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from here to here we make one double crochet. So one double crochet. This one. Second double crochet, third double crochet, fourth, double crochet, then fifth. Double crochet, six, double crochet, seven, double crochet. So here we are, we just finished um, seven double crochet in the next seven chain. So we did um, slip one slip stitch in the next seven chain from the hook and then we make one double crochet in the next seven chain and then we will repeat this by on the next seven chain we will make um slip stitch one slip stitch second slip stitch third slip stitch four slip stitch five slip stitch six slip stitch seven slip stitch and then on the next seven chain we will make um, one double crochet in each of the next seven chain so one double crochet in the first chain on the second chain we make one double crochet on the third chain we make one double crochet on the fourth chain we made one double crochet on the fifth chain we make one double crochet on the sixth 
chain we made one double crochet on the seven chain we made one double crochet so we will keep repeating this step by when you make um one double crochet in the next seven chain already and on the next step we make um slip stitch on the next seven chain after you make a slip stitch on the next seven chain already then you're gonna make um one double crochet in the next seven chain repeat this until the end of the row i will meet you at the end of the row one here hi guys now i am at the end of row one at the end we will chain one and turn your work on row two we will work in um, back loop only so on the next seven stitch we making one double crochet in each stitch in back loop here one double crochet and one double crochet in back loop so here the front and this one is the back so go in the back loop make one double crochet how many we make now three on three now four double crochet remember we go in the back loop only Double crochet six double crochet and last one seven double crochet So after we make one double crochet already, on the next one, we will make slip stitch in back loop only. So here the front loop, this one is the back loop. So slip stitch in the next seven stitch. One slip stitch. Second slip stitch. Third slip stitch. Four slip stitch, five slip stitch, uh, six slip stitch. We go in the back loop only. Seven slip stitch, and can see after we have seven slip stitch on the next seven stitch we will make one double crochet in the next seven stitch and then seven slip stitch on the neck and then one double crochet in the next seven stitch keep going and I will meet you at the end of row yeah now we are at the end of row two we chain one and turn your work on row three we will make um one double crochet in the next seven stitch
we will try to um, make the lid full so how can I say um, we will make one double crochet in the each of the next seven stitch in back loop only I would be um, recommend you guys to go to get a <clears throat> free writing pattern on my blog to um, follow along with the video tutorial would be helpful I put the link in the description below so second double crochet in back loop only third double crochet in back loop only Fourth double crochet in back loop only. Fifth double crochet in back loop only. Sixth double crochet in back loop only. Seven double crochet in back loop only. So you can see the leaf is full. That we complete one leaf. And then on the next seven um, stitch, we will make a slip stitch in back loop only. One slip stitch. Second slip stitch in back loop only. Third slip stitch. Four slip stitch, five slip stitch, six slip stitch, and seven slip stitch. So we will keep repeating this by the next seven stitch. We make one double crochet in each stitch to complete the leaf and the next seven stitch make slip stitch and on the next we make um one double crochet in the next seven stitch slip stitch one double crochet and I will meet you at the end of row three here we will work in back loop only. Now I am at the end of row 3, row 1. And row 2 and row 3. So at the end of row 3, we chain 1 and turn. We start on row 4. After we complete the leaf already, we are going to slip stitch in back loop on the next 7 stitch. One slip stitch. Second slip stitch. Third slip stitch, fourth slip stitch, fifth slip stitch, sixth slip stitch, seventh slip stitch, and now on the next seven stitch we make one double crochet on each of the next seven stitch in the back loop only. One double crochet, second double crochet in back loop only, third double crochet, fourth double crochet, fifth double crochet. Fifth 
six double crochet seven double crochet so we will um, keep repeating this by after you make double crochet already we will make slip stitch on the next seven and then on the next we make one double crochet in each I will meet you at the end of the row here now I am at the end of row 4 chain 1 and turn you can see the stitch the leaf pattern just start to coming along And on row 5, on the next 7 stitch, we make slip stitch in back loop only. For the back loop. Slip stitch. First slip stitch. Go in the back loop. Then this is row five. Second slip stitch. Third slip stitch. Fourth slip stitch. Fifth slip stitch. Sixth slip stitch. 7 slip stitch and on the next we make one double crochet in the next 7 stitch 1 double crochet second double crochet um, third double crochet Fourth double crochet, five double crochet, six double crochet, seven double crochet. And we will keep repeating this until the end of the row. I will meet you at the end of row five here now I am at the end of row five we will chain one and turn your work from this row on on row six and more we will repeat from row to row 5 until we have about 44 inch long this way if you want the cardigan to be longer you can make more like um, to be a very long cardigan you can be make like 50 inch but I, I think I will um, Stop at about 44 inch long this way. Please keep repeating from row 2 to row 5 until you have 44 inch long. And we will work in back loop only. So I will count row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 and row 5. So we will repeat from row 2, 2, 3, 4 and 5 until you have 44 inch long. If you want it longer you can add more row maybe until you have 50 inch long and please um, go to my blog to see the 
um, writing pattern on my blog to help along with this video because I know sometimes it will be confusing if you get the writing pattern will be good to go and I will meet you when I have about 44 inch long this way And now I have finished the first rectangle already. You can see the beautiful leaf stitch pattern just coming along here. And you know why it's come out beautiful because you repeat row two to row five. It will create a beautiful leaf. I got um, about 44 inch long and we will make exactly the same for the second rectangle exactly the same for the second rectangle and we will and I will meet you there and we will assemble together for the cardigan Hi guys I'm back I finished the uh, second rectangle already so we only made two rectangle to complete this cardigan exactly the same and I got about 44 inch long it's very raw <laughs> and you can add more row to make it longer maybe you can make uh, about like 50 inch long of each rectangle so you can have a long cardigan I've stopped at 44 inch and now we are going to um, join them together to create the back panel of the cardigan on the next clip so we will fold each rectangle in half And then we will um, join them in the center stem by um, sewing using the yarn needle. Hi guys, I joined the back panel already. I mean, join the rec two rectangles together with the sewing using the yarn needle to create the back panel. And now I am going to create the armhole by sewing on the sides. And I will show you. For the armhole, I probably um for size um small you can make a uh, five inch but if you want your armhole to be a bit loose a bit bigger probably go for six inch the armhole depend on your arm size so if you have a bigger so you can maybe seven or something like that seven eight so I will go for six because I want my um, slit to be a bit loose 6 inch and create a stitch marker here 
and this one we not sewing we will sew on the side along the way until the end use the yarn needle I will sew from the from the, the, the bottom up Hi guys, now um, I sewing on the side already to create the armhole. One side done already. Here and the armhole. I forgot to tell you, we um, we need to get this leaf pattern out. So we um, we do like this. So we will do on the same to the other side for. For the armhole and don't forget to take the take the leaf pattern out before I forgot and then then I tell you so this one is facing out so you can show the beautiful leaf pattern and this one will be inside So I will meet you when I finish create the armhole and then we will um, make the, the collar of the cardigan together. Hi guys, now I am um, finished create the armhole on both sides already. I sewing here and here. Now we are going to make the collar around. We will join the new yarn at one end first. Then we will um, single crochet in each stitch or in each space around the collar for one round. On row one of the collar, we will make a um, single crochet in each um, stitch or in each space for one round. Make single crochet. Keep make single crochet around and on top of these two round until at the end here. Just keep making single crochet. making single crochet
um, I will keep making single crochet and I will meet you at the second here I am now at the end of row one of the collar that we just make single crochet around and on row two we will chain two and turn row two and row three row two and row three we will make one double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row here so row two just make one double crochet in each stitch until here and then chain two and start on row three row three by one double crochet in each stitch around until here so row two we make one double crochet in each stitch row two we make one double crochet in each stitch around until here at the end you will chain two and turn and on row three we will do the same one double crochet in each stitch until here i will um make row two and row three and i will meet you at the end of row three yeah hi everyone um, I'm back. I just finished um, row 2 and row 3 of the collar now. Then we just made um, one double crochet in each stitch across from here to here for two row, row 2 and row 3 for one double crochet. At the end of row 3, we will chain 2, 1 and 2, and on row 4, row 4 we will just do a simple last stitch by um, 1 double crochet in the same stitch. And then chain one, skip one stitch and make one double crochet in next. Chain one, skip one stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch. And we will keep repeating this by chain one. Keep one stitch and make one double crochet in the next stitch. And you can see the um, last simple last just coming along. And we will keep repeating around the collar and I will meet you at the end of the row here. Just keep repeating, um, chain one, skip one stitch and make one double crochet in the next stitch. And I will meet you at the end here. Um, hi, um, I'm back and I just finished 
row 4 that we just made a simple lace by chain 1, skip 1 stitch and 1 double crochet in next and on row 5 at the end of row 4 we chain 2 turn your work on row 5 we will do um, just a simple one by uh, 1 double crochet in each stitch and in each chain across so if you see the chain one space you will make um, one double crochet if you see the stitch here the stitch see you see the stitch make one double crochet if you see the chain one space makes one double crochet just keep repeating this by you see the stitch make one double crochet and if you see the chain one space make one double crochet just keep making one double crochet in each chain and in each stitch across until the end of the row I will meet you at the end of row 5 here and we will start row 6 together for the collar Hi guys, now I am at the end of row 5 here Row 1, we did uh, one single crochet Row 2 and row 3, we did one double crochet Row 4, we did um, simple last Row 5, we did one double crochet in each stitch And row 6 at the end of row 5, we chain 2, turn your work and on row 6, we will do 1 double crochet in each stitch across until the end of the row here so I will show you um, just one or two stitch so just keep making one double crochet in each stitch across one double crochet see here and make one double crochet in each stitch across Keep making one double crochet and I will meet you at the end here and at the end of row 6 then we will do the one double crochet in each stitch across we will um, finish off hi guys now I am at the end of row 6 we are going to um, fasten off or finish off and we will finish off and you are gonna um, gonna get it look like this your collar you can see And now and on the next one we are going to add the sleeve the long sleeve for the on the armhole is um, very easy we will um, first we will join the new yarn and make the single crochet around the armhole for one round and after that we will just uh, make one double crochet in each stitch around and for the long sleeve we will do about um, 14 inch and on the next clip we will um, adding the long sleeve together
Hi girls, I'm back and now we are going to add the long sleeve on the armhole. We will use the, this time we will use the stitch marker. We will join the new yarn at the at any place but I, I, I like to draw it here because sometimes I didn't use the stitch marker so I know where where I start and finish so I draw join the new yarn here and then we will um, put the stitch marker on this position and then we will um, single crochet around the armhole for one round so I will show you how I did I didn't count the stitch yeah so you can um, um, you see, um, if you see the bigger space, you can put two single crochet. So keep making one single crochet in each stitch and in each space. If you see the bigger space, you can put two single crochet in there. And I didn't count the stitch, but you can count the stitch. That will be perfect because you will get the perfect, um, how can I say, you will get the perfect size of your armhole I mean the left side and the right side it will be the same side I hope you understand <laughs> sorry my English not so good I mean if you count the stitch on the on this row for the single crochet at the end and then you um, put a note on it and then so like um, example if you get um, 100 stitch in here and then you will do the same on the other side for 100 stitch but I'm a lazy girl so <laughs> I didn't count the stitch but if you don't count the stitch that will be okay because um, when we do the armhole that, like we did for 7 inch it will be approximately um, the same side for the armhole as well yeah the same same side but not exactly so it's just um, I don't know what to say in English yes so we, we just keep going make um, single crochet in each space see if you see this space bigger you can put two So we will keep going and I will meet you at the end here. Hi guys, I just finished the uh, um, row 1 that we just did single crochet in each stitch or in each space around the armhole for one round and on um, round 2 or row 2 we chain 2 and then we will make um, one double crochet in each stitch around so just make one double crochet in each stitch around the armhole this is this is round two
So just keep making one double crochet in each stitch around and on round three and more we will repeat round two by make one double crochet in each stitch around row after row row after row until we have about 14 inch long for the long sleeve of this cardigan if you want it longer you can keep going and I will meet you when I have about um, 14 inch or less <laughs> you know I'm lazy <laughs> Maybe, yeah I will meet you when I have about 14 inch or approximately nearly 14 you can make it longer or shorter the length can be customized so I will meet you there about 14 inch long for the sleeve just keep repeat round two of one double crochet in each stitch around hi everyone I'm back and I did repeat row two of the sleeve by um, one double crochet in each stitch around so I got about 10 inch for the sleeve I will add more I will add more to get about 14 inch and you will do the same for the other side for the sleeve here and that's all we done I hope you go enjoy the tutorial and thank you so much for watching have a good day